Welcome back, everybody. In the last episode, we found out that good old fucking Lamb Delta is, like, so happy to come in and take over his Game Master. Which is terrifying. Oh. Oh, we've jumped into a new game. Oh, boy. So I actually did check in between recording sessions. Um, there's no way to slow this down. That's true. This time we'll have a new, uh, game master. But, I do agree with Baller. This is his and Beatrice's fight. Lamb Delta kind of overstepping her bounds. Even if she is sponsoring Beatrice, it is Beatrice and Baller's fight. True. One one thing I can say is that uh, Beatrice definitely went all out for the four games that were presented. I I agree fully with Baller. This is kind of irritating. Like. First of all, it's terrifying to me, and it's irritating to him. I really, really, really hope that this is a battle between Bottler and one of them, and not both of them battling each other. Because if that's the case, we're all going to fucking die. I don't want you to be my opponent though can you find a lesser witch can I can I fight uh, who's another way Virgilia uh, hell I'll take Evatris over you then get Evatris I will take Evatris over both of you you two are terrifying compared to her she is nothing compared to you two I am not ready! I thought this would happen in, like, chapter 8 or 7, not chapter 5! No! Don't worry! Why? Why me? Why? No! No! <laughs> oh, fuck! Can we refuse? Can, well, if we refuse, then someone will have to g come in for us. No, we're not satisfied! Yeah, just don't just decide things for us! Yeah! I don't give a shit either! Fuck, the, fuck these two! Shit! Our opponent is Beatrice! She's not responding! That's a fucking loss on the witch's side automatically! Okay, so when Beatrice... Hold on! Hold the fuck on! When Beatrice abandons the game and goes off to in her fucking garden with Maria, that's fine! That's fucking fine! You get her back, you just shackle her to the table, oh, you can continue the game. But when I'm like, no, she's unconscious, I'm gonna wait for her to get up, you're like, mm, nah. Why don't you just fight one of the fucking two most powerful witches in all of reality? Alright, fuck you too! When, when Beatrice abandons the game, it's fine. When I try and wait for the other player to wake up, it's not okay. That is some fucking horseshit logic right there, Burke and Stell and Lamb Delta. Yeah, don't fucking talk about Angie.
That is true. Ugh, oh, damn it, she has us. If we don't continue playing by fucking Birkenstell's rules, then she's not gonna help us get Angie into a better future. Ugh. This is so unfair. I, I'm kind of miffed that I don't get to fight Beatrice! When your sister was turned into mincemeat. Speak, speaking of that, there are a bunch of jokes in the fucking community where Beatrice keeps on giving Bottler like hamburger buns. Because of that. Oh, a crystal. If you guys ever played Higurashi when they cry, you know that different worlds and different timelines are represented by crystals in that game. They're called fragments. She's showing the fragment in which that happened. Uh I Birkenstell's gonna have some new facial expressions. Look at that fucking smile right there. And when that should become a fragment, it'll become a definite reality. <sighs> as much as I hate it, she is right. They're essentially holding her hostage! They're essentially holding Angie hostage on this. Oh, that is so dirty! I, I wouldn't expect anything else from witches. But why do I have to fight Lamb Delta? Lamb... Fucking Delta! For those of you who have not been through Yumeneko when they cry, Lamb Delta is the most powerful witch in existence. Second, er, uh, the only, the second most powerful is Birkenstell. So, uh, <laughs> we are so, so utterly fucked. It is going to be interesting to see a new Game Master, but I was not ready for it to be Lamb Delta of all people. <laughs> oh, fuck, both of these people. Oh, Baller's getting some new facial expressions. I hate these two. <laughs> I hate these two so much! They are assholes! They are nothing but assholes. And they're assholes on a meta level. At least, at least, Evatris was an asshole in the game board. But these two, they're, they span multiple game boards. They torment me through time and space. Because of course they do. We have to keep on going because they're holding our fucking sister hostage. There's no way around it! Because, again, it's cool when Beatrice just leaves. Alright, th they'll slap her on the wrist and then just chain her to the fucking table make her continue. But when I want to wait for Beatrice, who drug me into all this, I might add, decides, oh, mm, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna fall unconscious. I don't know if she decided that, but whenever she is unconscious, when I decide, hey, maybe I should wait for her to wake up, and then we can continue. No, it's it's not cool. It's a fuck you. That's not okay. We want the game to continue right the fuck now. You fucking impatient little bitches. Oh my gosh. Ugh. Yeah, I know you're not giving us the option. You're holding our sister hostage. You are not our ally. Bullshit, you're our ally. Bull fucking shit. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, you can't! I can't! Fuck these two! Alright, fuck these two! Am I fucking right? This is bullshit! <sighs> I like that face, actually. Oh, do they actually have different faces for Yumeneko when they cry Chew? Because I haven't seen this face of Lamb Delta, and it's actually kind of hilarious. Let me actually... <laughs> Look at that face! That face is actually pretty cool. Yeah, actually, that's actually some pretty good logic! Even though I don't want to imagine them fighting... Yeah, not a bad idea! Yeah, fuck you! I'm gonna wait for Beatrice! I'm sure Birkenstell can make decisions for me. Rude! Right, you wanna talk about Rude? You're holding our sister hostage, you assholes! Mm, see, here's the thing. I don't know if I'm okay with Birkenstell and Lim Delta fighting it out with us stuck in the middle. That's terrifying. Let's play indeed. <laughs> Lim Delta super hyper and cute episode 5. So in the world that Beatrice created, these two are now the Game Masters. Oh! Oh! Han, you help us all. Han, you help us all. And these two could probably just add it. So we have a witch on the human side and a witch on the evil side, or the witch side, and they're both the most powerful witches in existence. And they could just probably add furniture at will. Their own furniture, for fuck's sakes, they could add. <laughs> Plenty of bonus hits. Because according to Game Master 07 that I'm fighting against, I should have everything I need by this point. My gosh, it really does feel like 07's the witch, and I'm the human, and I'm just trying to figure out what's going on, and he's taunting me. Ugh. Oh, I thought we were going to... I thought we were going to get the, uh... Animate the uh, opening movie. They cannot do anything this Chow cannot do. Okay, so things are gonna get super crazy. They can't use anything that Beatrice herself can't use. They can do things that she won't do. So we got a different perspective and Essentially, they're going to do things that Beatrice wouldn't even dream of. But as long as Beatrice can do it, they can do it. So they can't use their uber-powerful game-breaking magic to fight. Beatrice, please, for the love of all that is evil in this world, please wake up. I want to see you cackle again. I want to see your evil smile. Don't leave me to the two witches that are going- that are holding our sister as hostage. Please! <laughs> Wake the fuck up! You're- you're not gonna wake up for a while, are you? I know, right? I'm a little bit miffed too. Don't get me wrong, I'm a little bit upset about this as well. I was looking forward to fighting- oh, yes! Hyrulf! Oh, my favorite- my favorite fucking demon in all of Human Echo when they cry. I fucking love Reno. Renova's my senpai. <laughs> but like, no, seriously. Like, I was really looking forward to fighting Beatrice, and now that was stolen away from me. I feel... I feel gypped a little bit, I'm not gonna lie! 
I feel very disappointed! You're enjoying this journey? Remember, the longer you stay, the more screwed over Angie gets. Wait, what? Already? What? I'm sorry, but what? They already murdered six people! In the span of two episodes, six people have just died! And they're moving on to the next one! I bet those two are just half assed they have no style. There's no flair to it. They're just killing Baller's family left and right. However, what? Are you actually going to step up and do it? Oh, yes. All right. I actually agree with Butler. This is his game. If Beatrice doesn't want to play, then that's fine. We'll take on the Master Witch. The Witch of Witches. The Voyager of Voyagers. The Evil Witch Lamb Delta. The fact that they've already killed six people, that is insane. We're gonna be waiting for you, Beatrice, when you wake up, so wake the fuck up. I want to see you cackle one more time. I'm not gonna be satisfied until I see her cackle. What the fuck happened to you? This golden sleeping princess. Nice way of putting it. It's all useless. We gotta go. It's too late. Wait, what the fuck? Wow, they went through an entire chapter. I honestly, I, I think that chapter might be in the manga. Can still one on the human side? What? 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 Why is? Oh! Oh, we're shown what happened. Her corpse was found in the cousin's room on the second floor of the guest house. The direct cause of death is unknown, but her neck was sliced open by a sharp blade. The wound was deep enough that anyone could easily confirm her death was absolute certainty. 
Oh. His corpse was found in the guest room on the first floor of the mansion. The demon stake had been pierced through his back. The tip reached as far as his lungs. Because he was lying face down on the bed, it is unthinkable that this was a suicide. His corpse was found in the cousin's room on the second floor of the guest house. The direct cause of death is unknown. But his neck was sliced open by a sharp blade. The wound is deep enough that anyone could easily confirm his death without certainty. His corpse was found in the servant's waiting room on the first floor of the mansion. Direct cause of death unknown, but his neck was sliced. Blah, 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 blah. It's the same damn thing. Oh, shit, these two died. Oh, gosh. Ah. I've noticed that this guy is different than the others. And so that's how, that that's our game board so far. Let's go ahead and save, since we're at the end of the video. Okay, we're just jumping in right away. Let's uh, continue this in the next episode. So until then, guys, until then, I will see you then.